In this video, we're going to look at how to upload and post photos with Photoloo. Now, if you haven't set up and linked your accounts yet, you're going to want to go and take a look at the setting up your account video here on the YouTube channel. However, if you've got your account all set up, then you're ready to start uploading photos with Photoloo. Now, right when you log into Photoloo, the first thing you'll see is the upload button. If you're on a different page, you can go to the left, choose the upload link, and then come here and click the upload button. After you click upload, you just need to choose a JPEG that you can upload that you want posted to all your social and Microsoft sites that you have linked. Now the photo is going to upload, but while it's uploading, you can start going through and setting up the metadata. Now the first thing you're going to notice that if you've entered in metadata in Lightroom or Photoshop before, Photoloo is going to read that and put in the photo title and the photo description. Also, if you've uploaded any keywords, those will be in the selected keyword section. I only entered a title and description, no keywords, that's all we can see here. Now, if you're linked to stock sites, you can go in and enter different stock data than what you've got for your social sites like Facebook and 500px. This is typically a pretty good idea because when you're uploading to social sites, I typically tell a bit of a story about the image to get more engagement. Whereas for stock data, stock title and description, you really want to just describe the photo and explain what's in it because that's what stock buyers are looking for. They're looking for a specific image that matches the keywords. You also want to make your stock title and description very keyword rich because when people are going through and searching for them they'll go through and be able to find them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll go through and I'll replace the stock title with you know man relaxing on a chair looking at a sunset right very keyword and I'll put a similar description again very keyword rich just a bit longer. Now if you've linked your Twitter account you can also go through and enter your tweet. You can just choose your social title or description, although in this case my description is a bit too long so I need to shorten it by 79 characters. Or you can enter something completely different. In this particular case I'm going to enter something different because the Tourism Bureau of Canada put these red chairs in a lot of national parks in Canada. I know people are talking about it on Twitter. I also know that the Tourism Bureau uh, monitors the Explore Canada and Explore Alberta tags and will often retweet my photos if I tag them with those. So that's a really good way for me to get more exposure to my photography as well as get more followers on Twitter. So I added those tags to my tweet. Next I'll go through and choose the category. I'm going to choose landscapes and right now this is probably used for 500px. Next I'll choose my keywords. Now Fortaloo will actually suggest keywords for you but our algorithm isn't perfect yet. For example, no person. Well, there is a person in here, so I'm going to remove that one. The rest look pretty good, so I can click the Accept All Suggestions button and add them to my keyword list. Next, Fair Weather isn't a great keyword, so I'm going to remove that one, and I'll accept the su suggestions, and they'll move to my selected keywords list. Now, typically, I'll go in and add some keywords after that, things that just I know about, like the location of the photo. A lot of what I do is travel photography, so it's good to have the location as a keyword, because people will search for that on Microstock sites. I'll also add some more descriptive words in there of things you can see in the photo. Does anything that someone might search for on a stock site or even just good to have them for 500px as the keywords are on there and Flickr. Lastly, I'll also put some keywords that kind of explain the feeling of the image like relaxing or peaceful because people will also, also go through and choose those. That looks pretty good. I normally do, you know, 25 to 50 keywords on each of my images. And that's it. We've filled out all the metadata. Now I can go through and post it. Now I can choose to post to only a portion of the sites. For example, if I didn't want to post the stock sites, I could uncheck those before posting. But in this case, I want to post it everywhere. So I'm just going to go through, recheck those, and click the Post to My Sites button. Now after you pick the Post to button, it'll go to the Photos page, which will show you the progress of the uploads. Now one of the great things about Photoloo is you could actually close down the browser, go back to editing your photos now, and it would still keep uploading. Or you can stay here, and it normally takes a minute or two for them to upload to all the sites. But it'll keep updated as each of the sites uploads. Once the uploads have been completed, you can go through and click any of the checkboxes to see the posts. 
For example, you can click on Facebook and it'll basically take you to the Facebook post on your profile page. Also, if you want to, you can go through, check out, and even go through and take a look at the tweets. So each of them is clickable. You can go through, take a look at them. You can also go back and have those links for later. Now, the stock sites are blue because there's one additional step that you need to go through to go and set up the stock sites. So what you'll need to do is go in and click on the blue arrow and submit them to each of the sites for this last step. So we'll do Shutterstock first. So when you click on the Shutterstock link, you're going to go through and you're going to see your stock description, whatever you entered in here. You're also going to see all the keywords that you've chosen for Lou. You'll need to go through and choose a category. And if there's someone in the photo, you'll need to add a release. Now you can upload a release. This is a, a model release. Or I've already got myself in here as a model release, so I can just choose a previous release. Then you can go through, choose the photo, and submit it for review. So it looks like it says I found an error here. Now it thinks there's a spelling error with uh, the name of the location where I shot this. This isn't really a spelling error. That just It's not in the dictionary that they're using. So I'm just going to go through and resubmit it. And that's it. It's now been sub submitted to Shutterstock. They'll either accept or reject it. And then it will go for sale on uh, their site. I just need to do the same thing now for, Shutter for Adobe Stock. Adobe Stop, they really like you to reorder the uh, keywords, but I don't normally do that. It's a bit of extra time. But I do need to go through and make sure that I choose my model release to make sure it's attached. Otherwise, it will be rejected for sure. So let's go through, choose my model, model release, and then submit it for approval. And that's it. All my photos have been uploaded to my social sites as well as my stock sites. And I can go on and either work on my next photo or go out and do some more shooting. Now, as always, if you have any feedback or any issues with Photo Loot, just click on the feedback button on the left-hand side, and you can basically fill out that form. That goes directly to me, and I'll answer any questions you have or fix up any issues you may run into. Happy photo posting.